Good morning, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, my name is Nora Sackett. I'm the director of the State Technology and Innovation Office. And I really want to welcome everybody to Albuquerque and to New Mexico for IEEE Quantum Week. Um, and here to Roadrunner Venture Studios. Thank you, Roadrunner, for hosting us for this announcement today. Um, we are thrilled to welcome 1,500 of the world's leading minds in quantum to Albuquerque this week. Uh, in New Mexico, we have known for maybe longer than other parts of the world due to our, oops, did we just lose this? Is that good? Okay. Um, that quantum is the next revolution of technology. And we are working to make that revolution happen right here in New Mexico. Um, and we are stepping up to make sure that that is what is happening. Just last week, we announced a partnership with Roadrunner uh, of a grant for $25 million to establish and operate a quantum venture studio. And today we have another exciting announcement, not just for our state, but for the future of technology and innovation. We're here in New Mexico because this is a place with a legacy of innovation and leaders who believe in investing in it. Uh, we have a governor who champions innovation and who does it with our families, neighbors, and communities all across New Mexico in mind. And so to make this exciting announcement today, please join me in welcoming Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham. Well, I don't know that I've got that much left to say because of Nora Sackett. We are here uh, celebrating each other and um, that's always uh, the best way for a governor to get to start the official part of the week or month. Um, and I want to lean in on a couple different areas. One, I agree uh, with Ms. Sackett and everybody else who's here. If you're looking to create it, invent it, demonstrate that it works, uh, and engage in building new ideas that will solve the world's problems, this is the state to be doing that work in. Uh, we have been long known as a place of innovation. We are the only state in America with two of the national defense labs, more PhDs per capita here than anywhere else in the United States, and it is all really about that brain power. And I am looking at a collective of just those kinds of resources. That all by itself is exciting every day when we're making economic announcements. But this economic announcement is special in the following ways. Uh, several years ago, uh, I announced that our State Investment Council would lean into making large investments into New Mexico uh, uh, initiatives and New Mexico companies, and that can be a partnership as well. Uh, get out of sort of the routine investments that they were making globally as the managers of our now $65 billion sovereign wealth fund. A sovereign wealth fund that in just about short eight years, nine years, uh, Vice Chairwoman, uh, will be about $100 billion while at the same time spending money on our cradle to career educational investments. Nowhere else in America is that the case. Providing stability and predictability to innovation and to businesses and to creativity for generations to come. That shift in the State Investment Council has led to a million, $100 million investment into this type of initiative, quite frankly, this one in and of itself. Having $5 million to create an ecosystem and an institute and working with Roadrunner and any number of other partners, not the least of which is Sandia, also means that in just 18 short months, we went from announcing an idea about advanced computing and quantum computing and solving the world's problems and creating new economic opportunities to having a live, breathing, and well-organized ecosystem uh, in New Mexico. And lastly, the partnership, the other piece What's really exciting about it, this advanced computing or quantum computing is the fact that we've got a benchmarking or a proof of concept 
partnership that we get to announce today. Because I have to defend all the time to the legislature, and you have to defend, me too, to Congress, that these innovations and investments will not just produce the outcomes that we identify, but for governors in particular, that there's a return on these investments in educating the next generation of high-tech advanced computing engineers, software engineers, and other employment opportunities for New Mexico families and other folks we want to move here. But in addition, that the problem-solving components will, in fact, be realized. So today, and I appreciate those meetings, uh, we are announcing that DARPA is, in fact, here with $60 million in a formal partnership, will they'll be doing that benchmarking so we'll know which ideas, which companies, which part of the ecosystem will be built here, demonstrated here, certified here, and then we don't mind training a couple other people and places and businesses in the country, as long as this is known as the home of quantum computing. And we are very excited about this partnership. That's, yeah, this guy was going to clap. Everyone should be clapping. And for a small state with only 2 million people, look, when we announce $5 million from the feds, it's usually a celebration. Hell, if we're announcing a quarter million dollars in a new community center with an executive director, it's always worth, every job is worth celebrating. This partnership is about demonstrating movement in advanced technologies, including this is a state, the state, that has all of the advanced, also energy opportunities worldwide. We are an energy powerhouse. We start to marry the demonstration of clean, carbon-free power statewide with quantum computing. There is no problem we can't solve in the state of New Mexico. And then I know I'm speaking too long. I want to do one more thing. And then I want to uh, thank uh, our speakers who are coming after me. Certifying and proving out concepts means economic activity that can be not just in the billions, hundreds of billions, but over generations can be trillions of dollars into our economy. And it means that America is winning the tech race, which we must do globally. But to put that in perspective, New Mexico is long known on the energy side that if we prove out that we can reduce methane emissions, we can create the cleanest barrel of oil, even though for so many people that may seem like an oxymoron, not. We can demonstrate that we can have the cleanest liter of natural gas. Well, when other countries who need that energy, who are working to reduce their carbon footprint, where are they looking in New Mexico? When companies want to know if they have the opportunity to do it right, to do the education, to create these problem-solving opportunities, they will look to New Mexico and this partnership to demonstrate that they're on the right path. That's more jobs for us, that's more opportunity for New Mexico, and I get to brag about the talent here. I want to do a special shout out to Vice Chairwoman of the House Appropriations Committee, uh, Meredith Dixon, who uh, has been bossing me around for the last several sessions about advanced energy, advanced technology must have a place in every single legislative session in the context of uh, um, investing and making placeholders inside New Mexico's budget, which I hope is good news to our federal partners that this commitment isn't moving away anytime soon. So congratulations to everybody here. I'm a very excited and proud of New Mexico today. And uh, let's demonstrate for the world how it's actually done. Thank you, everyone. so much, Governor, for your leadership on this effort and your this exciting announcement. Um, next, I'm excited to welcome uh, Joe Altpeter, uh, Program Manager for the DARPA Quantum Benchmarking Initiative. Uh, we have been working with DARPA 
for many moons now, I think, on this, and I'm very excited to have them here in New Mexico for this announcement. Joe. Good morning. Um, Good morning. First, thank you, Governor, for the invitation. It's an honor to be here, and thanks to Roadrunner for hosting us. This place is great. Um, I have been a quantum computing researcher for uh, over 25 years, um, and it is personally very exciting for me to be here in New Mexico making this announcement, because for me, that journey started in Los Alamos in 1999 as a student first studying quantum computing. Um, and that two years was long enough for me to fall in love with the state, with the people, with the food. And I promise uh, DARPA is not just signing this announcement so that I can get better access to proper green chili. Uh, <laughs> it's, not, it's not just for that reason. Um, so at, though my, my journey started in New Mexico, I uh, eventually became uh, a, re a research professor. But for the, the last 15 years, I have been helping DARPA design and run quantum computing programs. Uh, for the federal government. And let me tell you, for most of that time, uh, I was the reviewer that you definitely did not want to have on your quantum computing proposal. Because I judged my success based on how many dumb quantum computing proposals I could make sure no one spent any taxpayer dollars on. Uh, and there were plenty to go around. Um, but at DARPA, we are supposed to challenge our assumptions, and we are supposed to look for surprises. And in the past few years, we started to think that the, the signatures of those surprises might be in the commercial quantum computing space, and that there might really be something here that challenges the conventional wisdom and that shows that we could really do something extraordinary. And so a small seedling project turned into a small program, turned into a medium program, and now my only job at DARPA is to run the Quantum Benchmarking Initiative, which is a large national program with a mission to figure out what is hype and what is reality in the quantum computing space, and specifically in the commercial quantum computing space. And uh, it, is, it is an honor to do this, but it is an extraordinarily difficult job to figure out and to forecast maybe 10 years in the future whose phenomenal plan, which looks great on paper, is really going to work and really demonstrate or really deliver transformative change and which ones aren't. Um, to do that job, you need a huge effort and you need extraordinary people you need extraordinary institutions, and you need extraordinary communities to build these projects around. And New Mexico has all three of those. And so I am extremely excited today to be able to announce the Quantum Frontier Project, a new partnership between the state of New Mexico and DARPA to try to answer these questions and to figure out what really is the potential for quantum computing to transform science, to transform industries, and to transform the nation for the better. DARPA doesn't know if, and more importantly, how, quantum computing is really going to change the world. But DARPA and the state of New Mexico, together, are going to find out the answers to those questions with the Quantum Frontier Project. Thank you. Thank you very much, Joe. We are thrilled to welcome DARPA to New Mexico um, and excited about the gravitational pull that this announcement will have for the greater industry. And I want to just recognize that we have representatives of that industry, many here, some who are already building ties in New Mexico, some who are excited to get more involved. And so I just want to thank you all for being here. We're very happy to have you. Um, you know, years ago, I'm stealing uh, my boss's line a little bit here to introduce him, but. We talk about in New Mexico a lot that Microsoft was born here, but we all know that it didn't grow here and it didn't stay here. And we're all keen on making sure that the next Microsoft that is born here stays here, grows here, and builds a future in New Mexico. Um, and leading that effort under the governor's leadership is Secretary of Economic Development Rob Black, who I'm thrilled to welcome up next. Secretary Black. <laughs> Thank you, Nora. It is an absolute pleasure to be here with you today. It's something we've been working on for a, a very long time. Um, I also want to acknowledge Alex Greenberg in the governor's office. Alex has been a champion for quantum in the state of New Mexico. So much so, he, in the, he was the guy who convinced me about it, um, that this is something that you, New Mexico is uniquely positioned for. And so what I want you to think about today is is there are those moments in time 
when you think back and think, wow, where was I on that day? This is going to be one of those days for New Mexico. This will be a transformative opportunity for our state. And it is the, the recognition and the partnership with DARPA, I think, cannot be understated. You have to realize these are the guys who actually invented the internet. And to have them as partners here in our state, understanding that we bring the capacity of the national, our national laboratories, adding to those workforces, adding to that with our universities, tying that in with CNM creating a quantum boot camp. We are building the workforce. And, and thank you to, to Governor Luan Grisham, who she talked about that cradle to career pathway the only state with free two-year, four-year college in the country. We're creating a workforce for this industry because part of what is so important, what is so exciting, is if we get this right, we will find the opportunities that using quantum computing can help cure cancer. It can help our national defense. It can position us as leaders in the United States. These are very difficult problems to solve, but quantum is one of the ways that we believe we can solve those issues. It is a big bet, um, but the governor is not shy about making big bets, about betting on New Mexicans, and betting on our future, and that's what we're doing. We're going to um, ensure that these programs that we're partnering with DARPA on, it's a multi-year effort, which is also, I think, what is really exciting. It's not a flash in the pan. This is something that will be going on for years. Um, but what you also heard uh, from Joe was this is really around the commercialization, right? Testing the commercialization aspect. It's taking that R&D that we are so good at. New Mexico is number one per capita in public R&D spent in the country. But how do we make it sticky, like Nora said, around around those companies, how do we keep them here? And so it is that part that is the investment in the quantum innovation hub that here at Roadrunner, it's tying in the venture capital funds that are supporting the, the commercialization. And as the governor mentioned, it's the SIC playing a very different role than it has in the past. So I am so excited again to, to uh, uh, be here with you today. I think it is something we will remember forever. And, and I do want to follow on, again, I continue to follow on the governor's comments, but to thank um, Vice Chair Dixon. Her vision is how we got here. She has continued, whether it was serving for our U.S. Senator, uh, and now in her role as Vice Chair of Appropriations, she continues to lead New Mexico forward around our science and technology roadmap helping to find the future of New Mexico and the opportunity for our families. So it is an absolute pleasure to be here. It's great to be working with such an amazing team. And, and thank you all for being here. Thank you, Secretary Black. Um, we are very clear here at the state that this uh, cannot be possible without the appropriations to uh, move this partnership forward. And so on that note, uh, as speaking to the leadership that the other speakers have highlighted, I want to welcome Vice Chair Meredith Dixon. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Nora, and thank you, Governor, Secretary, and Joe. Um, this is why I'm in the legislature here today, it's about partnerships, it is about moving New Mexico forward, bringing together all of the pieces that make New Mexico special, our history with quantum, what we can do moving forward, each piece of the puzzle working together um, to make this a reality. So I want to thank everyone, I want to thank the governor and the team, Sandia, Los Alamos, everyone who has been a part of this, the vision and the commitment and I want to reiterate that the legislature is very happy to be a part of this. We are committed to seeing uh, this vision with quantum, with all of our science and technology sectors. We know that New Mexico has unique strengths. We can leverage our assets. And by working in these partnerships, uh, we can continue to grow the state and the economy. So thank you very much.
you all so much for joining us for this announcement today. Uh, you know, to memorialize this exciting announcement, I want to welcome our speakers up to take a quick group photo, and then we will, we will be wrapped up. Thank you all again so much for coming. Awesome.